Hi, I'm Tilda. Hi, I'm Nav. And we're here with UBTV trying to find the best cider in Bristol. Hey guys, we're at our last location, the Mother's Ruin. Hey guys, we're at our fourth location, which is the Crown. Our next location of the night is the Apple. Our next location is WG Grace. Our first place is Steam. <laughs> We're going to be evaluating each pub on three things. First of all, taste. Second, the ratio of cost to alcohol percentage. And lastly, just the vibes of the pub in general. I've gone for the Rattler. This is the one that the barmaid recommended, but very expensive. It was £5.80, but with a percentage of 6%, so not too bad. I have Steam's own cider. It's 4 50 but with student discount, it's 3 90 So, woohoo! Thoughts and feelings? Right, first off the bat, I think the own side is better than the Rattler. This one's really apple -y and I just like the other one, preferences. It tastes rather fruity <laughs> and fresh. We've got a cider professional I here, know. folks. I looked, I looked up definitions, okay? I think it was 4.8% to cost, so I think it's fairly okay because most students come and buy this one, so it's definitely fine. It's a really great venue like there's lights everywhere people come here for the pub quiz so definitely come here i agree actually taste really good yeah. very sweet i'd say yeah. i don't know i'm not an expert like you but 4.8 percent for 390 i'd give that a solid what seven out of ten yeah, maybe I, agree. I went here all the time in first year i don't think you're going to get many better places to like see everyone you know get some very instagrammable pictures i think steam is very highly rated Our next location is WG Grace. I will say I've got a bit of bias towards this pub because I do work here. We're here with Lucas, who is a colleague and dear friend of mine, and he's gonna tell us why he thinks we should pick WG Grace as the best pub for cider in Bristol. I mean, why wouldn't you pick pick the Grace as a, uh, to have the best ciders in Bristol? <laughs> I mean, first of all, they've got the most handsome bartenders, and um, I mean, apart from that, being you know in the heart of the sort of studenty areas of Bristol, you get a pretty good atmosphere here. You'd be a fool not to pick the, the WG Grace, frankly, if I'm being honest. So I've gone for the Stouford Press. It's 4.5% and £2.50, which I think is the cheapest cider you can get here in uh, WG Grace, not Steam. I've got the Black Dragon. It's a blooming 7.2% and it costs 3.69. <laughs> <laughs> so the story behind <laughs> So the story behind the Black Dragon is when I started my first year here at Bristol, I was dating someone and his friend told me that he had researched the entire list of drinks that you could get in Weatherspoons and found that the Black Dragon was the most <laughs> alcoholic percentage you could get for the cheapest amount. So it's my go-to here at the WG Grace. But um, <laughs> I think it's clear to say it is not always the taste. It's a, it's a strong taste. How would you describe the taste? Shit. Knowing that my boss is going to watch this, I would say that the description of shit isn't quite a justified one. Wait, let me just... I would say it's... <laughs> so <laughs> Lucas actually thinks it's quite tasty. What would you say? Well, um, from being dead honest, uh, my experience with the Black Dragon is uh, tend to be the point that pushes you over from good tipsy to just not good drunk. So make of that what you will. It's a bit of a dangerous one. So our next location of the night is the Apple. We've managed to steal a Weatherspoons worker with us to help us <laughs> to help us with our evaluations. I've got the Iford. I've got the old Bristolian. I've also got the old Bristolian. So you find. <laughs> Cheers. I give it a 10 out of 10. Out of the ones I've tried, it's the best. Honestly, the best. 10 out of 10, I reckon. 
Honestly, trying your one, I do prefer the steam one in terms of taste. Oh. This one is very good, but obviously you've got to think about the alcohol ratio. It's 5%. If you're on a piss up, it's not the best. I gave the vibes an 8 out of 10 because I think it's more dignified compared to the other two. So if you want to go on a date night or chill night out, I think the apple is the one for you. I agree, good date night vibes. You've got the little fairy lights and the trees everywhere. Obviously, I don't think we've mentioned before, it's on a fucking boat. What's more Bristolian than being on a boat? I can't think of anything. It was quite nice, you know, not having to swim across people to get to the front bar. Do you know what I mean? It's a little pun there, because you know, it's on a boat. <laughs> you actually want to enjoy some alcohol that like, genuinely is nice. So I mean, as high percentage as it is, it's actually like enjoyable. <laughs> so crisp and so fresh. <laughs> if I were, you know, to go to Spoons or something, I'm going to get fucked up. I'm going to get mashed up, do you know what I mean? It's now I should warn Lucas that our manager has requested the link to this video. So any Spoon slander will be seen by our general manager. So please refrain from any insult. Hey guys, we're at our fourth location, which is The Crown. I got bounders with a dash of black currant. It's 5.5%. The cost is £4.75. How about you, Tilda? Well, I got the Rosie's Rhubarb. It is more expensive at £5.50, and it's actually only 4%, so it's less. <laughs> I've never tasted anything quite like it. You can taste the rhubarb, it's very still. Not my favorite, but it's definitely like a fun new drink to try. I would argue that I prefer mine, and it really does taste of blackcurrant. It reminds me of my childhood, low key. Taste wise, what would you rate it? <laughs> I actually find this a lot more drinkable than the steam cider. I think you are very much paying for the vibes, but this isn't so much of a student-dominated pub. Um, it is kind of spenny and it doesn't get you wasted. I love The Crown. Like, I come here all the time showing people this kind of place. I think the music is immaculate. The decor is nice, quite edgy. So I think Tilda's more indie than I am, so she's a bit more eclectic with that shit. So she's bumped it up. As someone who's more of an R&B rap fan, I do vibe, but it's still average for me. For our last location, the Mother's Ruin, and we're gonna try our last beverage. This is our fifth pint, by the way. Tilda, say what you like. So I'd say, I pro oh, just for a clarification. So this is Thatcher's Haze. This is the Ruined Cider, their own brew. I would say we both prefer the Ruined Cider. I would give her a solid seven. <laughs> In terms of um, like cost to ratio active, uh, active. <laughs> In terms of vibes, I'm definitely going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's similar vibes to The Crown, brilliant music, immaculate decor, kind of edgy, very Bristol. I'm going to be a 7 out of taste, 7 vibes. I mean, you can hear the vibes. It's, it's quite solid, but you know, I prefer the others. And just to clarify, she gave that a 7 out of taste. Of taste. A 7.5 pushing it but a seven but a point five for taste to cost ratio it's really decent price wise it's that just haze babes like you know what you're getting it is a strong seven half so we've had our contenders we've had a great night still got this to finish yeah. i think it's safe to say that any claims that i'm a heavyweight are now out of the window we've done the amounts we've added up our scores and we've got a clear winner the apple well done well done to the apple it's on
other boat, there wasn't much more competition, was there? Get yourself a boat and you can beat the apple. I was Tilda. I'm Nav. And we've got to finish this pint without throwing up. Cheers to that, lads. Cheers! Woo!